I can figure out anything because I'm resourceful, I'm a problem solver, I can dig my way out of any hole, whatever. Doesn't matter, I'm, I'm confident in myself, I can, I can make it happen. And then I got in the ring with Mike Tyson. Hey there, it's Adam Holland. Welcome to the final video in this video series, the 10 mindset hacks to rewire your brain for success in business, family, friendship, life, and so much more. This video is a very, very important one, and this is basically the accumulation of all of the rest of the videos combined and, and put together. And uh, this is a concept that uh, was kind of a, um, it was like eating a big slice of humble pie to me because I had always start, man, thought, man, I'm, I'm smart. I can get good grades and I don't even have to try. Like I can, I have an engineering degree. I'm, you know, super nerd, put a big S on my chest. I can figure out anything because I'm resourceful. I'm a problem solver. I can dig my way out of any hole, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm confident in myself. I can, I can make it happen. And then I got in the ring with Mike Tyson and I got punched in the face repeatedly and I was on the ground all bloody and it was like, man, this, this, obviously I'm using a metaphor here or whatever. That didn't actually happen. But what I'm getting here is, what I'm, what I'm getting at here is you're going to reach a point in your business. It could be in your, your relationships. It could be in so many facets of your life where you're going to come across something where you don't have the solution. You don't have the answer. And there's no number of books that you could potentially read, uh, YouTube videos that you could watch that are, that are gonna actually make a difference. And this is something that I'm, I don't wanna go off too much on a tangent here, but, and I hope you're getting lots of value out of these free YouTube videos. And the reason I did a series is for a reason, again, each concept building on another. For me, I've watched dozens and dozens and probably, I mean, more than likely probably hundreds, if not thousands of YouTube videos on various marketing topics and never had any success with those YouTube videos. Why? Because just going and finding free YouTube video content, even if it's quote good content, chances are they're giving you a really big piece of an even bigger puzzle. And if you don't know what the, the puzzle box looks like, what the puzzle so, is supposed to come out as, that might be a really valuable piece of the puzzle, but you still don't know how to put it together. You still don't know how everything works. Finding someone that is a mentor that has that the front, the front of that puzzle box that can show you what it's supposed to look like and show you, well, this is why you don't use this piece. So this is why you're going to use this piece and help you through all the different struggles and challenges and issues within your business. And again, this applies to all, all facets of your life. Um, it's going to be a vile resource for you. So let me give you a non-business example and then I'll give you a business example. So um, my uh, wife and I, we've actually been together since high school. We weren't married in high school, by the way. Uh, we met in high school. It was her freshman, my sophomore year. We met on a hike and we, we like, it was, for me, it was love at first sight. There was flashes of lightning, electricity and whatever. And she was with another guy uh, and eventually I got them to break up. So... Good, good for me. And we've been together ever since. Now, the reason that we are able to be together as long as we have, even though we were vastly different people in high school and then in college and then after college and then through all these different changes, uh, life changes with, with kids and careers and all that kind of stuff is because we worked on our communication. The reason that we were able to work on our communication at such a deep level wasn't just because we read books, which we did, not just because we went to conferences, which we have both personal development and marriage conferences early. It was because just like in video number two, I talked about being objective. I had to realize that my parents were divorced at age like five or six. Uh, Kristen, my wife, uh, her parents um, split up, I believe, when she was three. Luckily for her, she's got an amazing stepdad, uh, and the relationship he and uh, her, her mom has is very good, and she had at least an example of what a marriage would look like in a house. I, again, had to eat a big slice of humble pie and say, you know what, my parents were divorced, so I really didn't have that example growing up. And even with my dad being remarried, that marriage didn't last more than a few years, and that was another not-so-great example. It's nothing against anybody. It didn't work out. It's just I, if I didn't have that example, how was I supposed to know what a good marriage would look like? Well, before my wife and I got married, we already were luckily objective enough to recognize these things in both of our experience levels when it came to relationships and especially marriage that we said, you know what? We're going to actually get marriage counseling before we get married. And actually the church we were going to was kind of a requirement that we actually uh, sat down and talked with, you know, a, a 
couple of, uh, I don't want to say counselors, but it was basically an, uh, an older couple that had been married like 35 or 40 years at that point. And the amount of insights we were able to get from them just in probably five or six conversations was incredible. And now, um, every time that I meet somebody new that's maybe in a different style of relationship, something that's a little bit different than what I've experienced, um, different dynamics, different personalities, I get such great insights because, and it's not like I'm trying to judge anybody, it's more of like, wow, this is something that I haven't thought about before, again, being objective and realizing like, wow, I don't just have one mentor in this one area in my life and relationships. I have had several mentors and several friends that I've been able to learn from. Very much the same thing in business. When I was first getting online in business, I had um, a mentor that was, I believe, 22 years old. I think I was 24 at the time. Some Again, my math is going to be off. I'm just estimating here. Um, he went on to go and create a $15 million business online. He since retired from his online business and went and started a solar company um, called Power. A good friend of mine, Jonathan. And the amount of information I learned from him in such a short span of time, even my first three months online, is really what allowed me to kind of push myself forward. Him, I also mentioned another, another uh, mentor of mine, Mark, uh, in a previous video. The mentorship that I was able to get from him in terms of uh, wisdom, in terms of marketing, in terms of mindset, in terms of just how to structure your business and all like so many different things in terms of being more effective, um, making sure that you're happy working on your business. Again, that was one of the previous videos going into questing. So if you haven't already, um, find a mentor. This is the number one thing. If you're not sure who that mentor could be, um, we've got, again, some resources in the back office. Uh, I will say, if you've liked this video and, and this video series, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's going to be a link somewhere around this video here to go ahead and do that uh, so you get notified every single time a new video comes out. Make sure you click that bell icon so you get notified when new videos come out. Uh, next, like this video, comment below of what you got out of this. Talk about, uh, please discuss who your mentor is, who you're learning from, um, or if you're committed to finding a mentor, make that declaration, make that commitment statement below in the comments as well. Um, and if you're interested in learning how to find a mentor that's specific to what your industry is, um, I've got a nice bonus for you, but you can only get that bonus if you've already registered for this 10 video series on my website. So click the link somewhere around this video, register for this 10 video series. So because if you're just watching this on YouTube, you're not getting the full experience. So again, register, get access to the full experience, all the bonus resources and links that you need. And, uh, that's it for now. Uh, we will have one more video and a conclusion video, so keep watching and we'll see you in that video in just a moment.